Stan Jabalisco here, uh, author of Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Um, I will include a link to the Amazon page for this book uh, in the description of this video. It explains a whole lot about electronics, including something called a voltage doubler power supply. You may wonder, how in the world can you do that? What kind of a trick is that? Well, here's a simple circuit that will accomplish that uh, feat. Alternating current input, transformer, probably a step-up transformer because if you're going to use a voltage doubler supply, you're probably going to want high voltage to begin with, probably very high voltage. Two diodes oriented like this, current limiting resistors in series with these diodes, and th these are small ohmic value resistors, by the way. They simply keep the diodes from burning out because they might deliver too much current if you attempt to place a heavy load in a supply like this. Something that you should not do, by the way. Here are the filter capacitors for this supply. Now these are exceptionally large value capacitors because they're meant to hold the charge uh, even under a slight load and th that will cause these two capacitors to act like a pair of batteries in series in effect. One diode providing rectification for one of the capacitors and the other diode providing rectification for the other one and you will get this series sum voltage effect. These are chassis grounds, uh, common ground connections. And you will get a fairly smooth, fairly well regulated DC output, provided that you don't try to load down this supply very much. And what do I mean by that? You don't want to ask it to deliver a lot of current. You, you don't want to place too low a resistance at this output, because if you do that, you're going to lose some of your voltage regulation and these capacitors will not be able to do their job as effectively in getting rid of the ripple. So this is intended as a high voltage, low current power supply. You'll find information about this and other power supplies in my book, Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics. Stan Jibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.